Okay, hi everybody. I just have a little modge podge of a video here to do of some cute things that I have found. <clears throat> and then I want to answer a question to my previous video on the Yes Glue or Yes Paste. And someone wanted to know how I clean my pouncer when I'm done. And yeah, I'm not a clean crafter. I am messy with my paintbrushes. So anyways, I always keep the, a jar of water to stick my brushes in really quick. And this is from last night that I was using it. And I just shove it in the water and voila, I let it sit there. And then when the water is really gross, then I take all my brushes in the bathroom and rinse them in hot water. But yeah, I shouldn't probably let this sit in here, but I do. So, and then I kind of just squeeze the water out on the edge and if I'm going to use it again right away in between and then I squish it with my junky towels that I have here but over the garbage can because the water will leak all right so then I dry it and look it's perfectly soft there is no glue and I glued um I did the entire cover of this mini album with it on both sides there is not one bump crease like you do with the wet glues it is I'm telling you it's awesome but anyways that's how I clean my pouncer and um, the glue comes off it's not hard like when you use Maj Paj so anyways yeah that's how no trick I just plop it in the water and let it sit there it's water soluble all right my next thing um, I picked this up this is just kind of a tip and maybe some of you do it I don't know but anyways I work on my desktop is glass so I don't use a cutting mat just because I have my I don't need to I don't need to protect my surface if I'm cutting something I will put my little mat on with my exacto knife but anyways normally I just <clears throat> I'm able to toss my paints and inks right on the glass and it cleans it up but when I'm doing cards or mini albums and I'm using inks and distressing and the ink gets on there and then I'm finding, I do wipe it off and clean it. I keep Windex by my desk, but it seems to be getting on, on the back of my cards and then I get so mad and I got to start over. So what I did, oh, and then when I stamp, I usually have this big piece of, um, it was a big like 12 by 12, but I cut it up and you could buy it at the craft store. And then I would put my, you could see it's, I would put my image on and stamp for the cushion because it's really hard on this glass desk. Well, I don't know. I hate having all these gadgets. So what I did, and I'm forever, when I'm cutting something, I'm writing down measurements, you know, like, oh, what do I cut this? And then I go to cut it and I forget. So I jot it down. You can see I got it there. So I'm grabbing scrap paper. Well, well, anyways, so I had the bright idea of... I wanted to buy those Stampin' Up desk sheets with the papers and it has the grid and then you could stamp on it and get your ink on it and blah, blah, blah. Those are expensive. So what I did, I went to the craft store and I bought this jumbo paper pad. And it's cheap. It's in the, here's the cover. I ripped the cover off because I'm just leaving it on my desk. It, um... It's giant art pad, and it's in the kids section, and your Michaels or Joanne's or what have you. And um, so now I'm just kind of keeping this. And when I say cheap, it's like under five dollars. It might be a couple bucks. So I bought that size and this size, which this one's this one I know is like a buck forty-seven or something. This size. This one's a little different texture. Um, it's more like that fuzzier paper. But anyways, <clears throat> so now I can stamp on it, distress on it. When it gets inky and I want to then finish the card base, I just rip it off and start again. My glue got on it, and so I like it. Stupid, but it, it you know it's cheap and it's not expensive as that paper from Stampin' Up, which that does have the grids, but I never use that anyway. So anyways, that's one tip. And then also another tip to use with this paper is sometimes when you're doing cards let me pull out a card here i know my sister-in-law does this and i never could figure out what paper well you know how when we're doing like a dark card and then you if you're just doing like a cheap card you don't want to waste your card stock 
this paper can be cut and folded. I'm just going to do a mock little demonstration here. I'm not going to measure it to size or anything. But let's just pretend it's the right size. <laughs> you can actually tape these inside your card with your glue runner. Or, you know, put a little piece of tape and then it has like the parchment paper that you can when it's cut to size, let's pretend that's to size, it'll be folded this way. And then you can write your sentiments, and it's very cheap. I mean, look at you get all these, how many is in here? 60 sheets. And I think this was like two bucks, especially if you use a coupon. So yeah, I just, I'm going to start doing that when I don't do my, you know, like this is just a card that I'd give to somebody. Um, quick send in the mail, you know, it's your birthday, but so yeah, and then you can write your sentiments on and it's, you know, some of those cards in the stores have the tissue paper or, um, not tissue paper, but the thin vellum paper that you write on and then whatever. All right. So that's another tip that I just thought I'd share. And then I did some Hobby Lobby and I found some neat stuff that I thought I'd share with you. You might have seen it and you might not have if you didn't I'm new to the game here on this but anyways I, I often check the wedding section just to see the little picks and stuff that they have in the floral which most of it's expensive but sometimes you get a deal well today I did I got a deal um these are now 50% off certain wedding and floral picks so let me separate these. They have so many colors. Oh my gosh, they have. Now these are regularly $1.49, so they were 50% off. And what it is, and you could probably make it too. So this is the tool with the beat with the pearl sprays in, and then they wrap it in um, you know, the floral tape. And how cute to stick in your, you know, with your flowers on your cards and mini albums. So yeah, so a tip, you can either A, make them yourself, or go to Hobby Lobby and buy a bunch. Well, this is like a coral color, um, hot pink, I got yellow, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, six on here. But yeah, you can add it to your, you know, flower, flowers, whatever, how cute. So I got, I got the, oh, and I got it in lavender, so I got those. And black, of course, my favorite. And then I got, oh, and white. All right, so I got those. And then they have the, all the the picks, they have the coordinating colors to it. And these are just um, sheer, oh, I can't think of the name of this, organza? Yeah. And look at these pretty rosebuds. And I, I know I've seen some of you use these in your projects, but look how beautiful this colors match. Look at that coral. How pretty. They're so pretty. And these were $1.99, 50% off. So, and look how, oh my God, look at how gorgeous that matches with the black. Beautiful. So I got it in black, coral, um, this real pretty gray. These one, this one's a little different, rolled different, and it has a pearl inside. Super pretty. And then, of course, I got the white rosebuds and then this was I know I have a lot of this in different colors but I don't have it in black so these were $1.49 and it's just the crystals to stick you know look how pretty and then my favorite these were 99 cents 50% off hello look at that it's got the feather attached the bling crystal and the crystal flower and it's on the little pokey stick so you could attach that look how pretty that's gonna be oh I'm loving it so I got that in black and I got it in white and then I got it again in white <laughs> and then this really hot pink so yeah I just thought I'd oh and then they also had the feathers which these were not on sale don't ask me why, but this brand was not on sale. But they have the feathers on a little pick, too. So, yeah, I can't wait to play with these. Look how pretty on the card. 
So I got one white and three black. But those were not on sale. But they were still 99 cents. Big deal. Okay, so I got that. And then another thing that I saw that was cute that I picked up. I kind of only like to share the really cool stuff. But <clears throat> this was at Hobby Lobby also. But this was in the, I want to say... The jewelry making and sewing and buttons section, not by the scrapbooking. But these little, they're felt and they're really hard and crispy and thick. And look at these little French poodles. Tell me those are not adorable. Oh yeah, and look at this. Look how that's going to match. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. So anyways, it came three in a package. Oh, his little blingy fell off. Oh no, that's clear bling. Okay, so yeah, three in a package. And I just thought they were super cute to put on a card. All right, so I did that. And then what else did I want to tell you and share with you? I think that is it. Um, hmm. I'm doing a mini album. Oh, yeah, so that will be soon. I did do some... Um, Oh, what am I? Oh, I got some stuff from Archana. All my papers. But I didn't do a video. That's one uh, craftycity.com. And I did get, I got a bunch more. I got a bunch of flowers. But yeah. I kind of put them away already. I got these from Archana. And these. And then I broke down and I bought I bought the um, Tilda papers and I'm not even crazy about the Tilda doll I think she's kind of ugly but I did like these papers so I got I ordered those from her and this one the country escape so yeah head on over to her shop because she does carry some wonderful stuff very fast shipping thank you Archana I know I'm really late on this video but Yep, I like to give a shout out to our little um, online little sellers that we patron there. And then I did, um, I got from Saw Crafters a couple of things. Let me show you. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I got, um, I wanted to try out her, these wooden Prima dolls. This is from Saw Crafters. And I'm into the baby thing now, so I did, um, that and these little baby, these are really nice. I like these. I'm going to be making some more baby minis. And they're her wood pieces. Really nice and thick. But look at the little rattle. And I love this baby carriage. I have a rubber stamp that's going to match that good. And the bottle. And the comb. And the little binky. How cute is that going to be with a little ribbon on it? So I got that. And then, of course, I got the baby onesie mini album. The wood chip mini album. And I got the dress. My brother's expecting two. So maybe he'll have a girl and I could do some girly baby stuff. Because I'm nothing but boys. My grandson's due next month. Not that I care. I kind of like boys better. But I just want to do girly, girly decorations. So, and then these, this is adorable. Which you can use this two ways. You can punch these out. Yeah, it's taped right there. But anyways, these will come out, and then you can also use the negative and put that on something, too. How cute. So, yep, that was from Saw Crafters, and I know I bought a lot more from Archana, but I put it all away. And, um, <clears throat> but anyways, head on over to her shop. She's got good customer service, and then Saw has some good things. And, yeah, I think I'm done buying online stuff for a while. I kind of went on a, a spree there for the past couple months, but... I'm good now. See, I de-stashed stuff so I could buy some new stuff. But, um, And then I'm going to be working a lot with um, 
my old papers, which I've got a mini album over there. So I will do a video on that, and then I'm going to have a card share, because I've made so many cards that I haven't shared. I just got away from doing videos, so stay tuned for that. And um, a quick, oh, another quick tip on this Yes Glue, my friend Gloria, GM, Crafter GM on YouTube. She told me, oh, and this is for Nana J. Look, this is kind of hard, like Vaseline, and it's good to the touch, but... Um, it's smooth, like it spreads like butter. So, <clears throat> it's. Um, but anyways, she gave me a tip that when you're see when the glue gets on the outside of your jar, and then you'll never get the lid off. She recommended to put Vaseline around the rims of your jars and glue things. So I'm gonna try that and see how it works. I tried to keep it really neat, but you know how that is when you go to open your Mod Podge or your glue and you can't get the lid off. Yeah, so I'm going to try that, and I know it worked for my refrigerator one time um, because it was in our camper. The seal, the door would never shut because the seal wasn't tight enough, and somebody told me, rub Vaseline around that little white rubber thing. And I thought, 